This woman always allows her dogs to sleep in her bed, but an expert ran tests with alarming results. This attractive young American woman looked the picture of health in the TV news report. She was shown being active with her three dogs in the segment broadcast in September 2017. Her pets are like family to her, so what could be more natural than for them to all snuggle up in her bed after an energetic day full of play? How could she say no to their cute little faces? Perhaps she would find it easier once the TV team had shown her the shocking results of their doggo experiment. What implications would the test's conclusions have for her picture of health? Dog lover Leia is a 19-year-old human mom to a trio of playful pooches. In fact, she loves her retriever Kevin and her poodles, Sasha and Charlie, to distraction. The young woman and her canine trio are rarely apart from one another. She even lets her dog sleep in her bed with her practically on a nightly basis. Leia admitted to much of the CBS syndicated news magazine show Inside Edition when it interviewed her about her furry friends. She's not the only one to curl up with her canines at the end of the day either. Online domesticated animal resource PetMD reported that as much as 79% of American dog owners do the same. While it's a very touching nightly gesture, could there be a downside? What else could the animals be bringing to the bed apart from cuddles and companionship? That's the question that the Inside Edition news team intended to answer. In order to do so, the producers of the show dispatched presenter Lisa Guerrero to enlist suburban resident Leia's help. They also enlisted three very special guests, Kevin, Sashi, and Charlie. Leia's fur babies played their part when they each presented a paw to Guerrero. The three dogs were shown in the yard, in the street, and on Leia's bed where they had their paws swabbed with a medical cotton bud by the presenter. Subsequently, the results were sent off to a laboratory for analysis to see exactly what the dogs had picked up on their paws that day. When Guerrero asked Leia what she thought the lab would find, the mutt mom confessed that she didn't really know. However, she did admit that she thought the results might not be so good. It's a little scary to think about, Leia laughed when Guerrero questioned her on the subject, but of course, just testing one dog owner's fur babies wouldn't be fair, scientifically speaking. So Inside Edition found another volunteer, this time from an urban environment. Shauna was shown walking her two little white woofers down a city street. Shauna's two miniature mutts, Scotty and Angel, also share a bed with their owner, so they were ideal candidates for the swab test. Furthermore, Inside Edition also conducted an extra experiment with Shauna's puppers. Guerrero outlined the process in the news report, which was uploaded to YouTube on September 16th, 2017. At Shauna's apartment, we applied a fluorescent marker to track her dog's paws, Guerrero explained. Then we turned off the lights and shined an ultraviolet light onto the floor. But although the results of the experiment were perhaps not that surprising, they were most certainly illuminating, literally and figuratively. Your dogs have been all over this apartment, Guerrero informed Shauna. Look at the prints behind you. They're everywhere, the reporter said, indicating the fluorescent evidence all over the back of the couch. As for Shauna herself, she was stunned by just how many paw prints were shown covering her living space. Next up was the great reveal. Guerrero was shown with the dog's lab results in her hand. Leia was proven right in her estimation. The results were not good. In fact, what the lab turned up on their pet's paws shocked both doggy moms. It was astonishing to learn just how many germs these five representatives of man's and woman's best friend had picked up in their daily lives. Inside Edition kind of let the cat out of the bag regarding the disquieting results by presenting them as the dirty dog paw test. Guerrero revealed the outcome for Leia's dog's pads, starting with Kevin. The lab had picked up no less than 10 different kinds of bacteria and two types of fungus on the retriever's paws. Leia was appalled, but then she learned about her poodles. Sashi was found to have six strains of bacteria on her feet and one fungus was also detected. Last but not least was Charlie, who had eight types of bacteria and also one type of fungus. Perhaps the most disturbing revelation, however, was that all three canines carried E. coli. Leia wrinkled her nose in disgust and responded sarcastically, saying, They slept next to me last night, so that's good to hear. Next up were Shauna's pair of pooches. These city slickers swab results came back with a similar amount of germs listed, 
Scotty presented seven bacteria strains and one fungus, while Angel had E. coli among the six different bacteria she carried. Both Leia and Shauna seemed horrified and revolted by the report's findings and are visibly taken aback. In light of these shocking Inside Edition results, it appears vital that dog owners are aware of what kind of germs their canines are likely to carry. Diseases that are able to pass from animal to human are called zoonoses. These are not only communicated across the species barrier by bacteria, viruses, and fungi, but also by parasites. Alongside fleas, domestic pets can pick up the infestation delights of tapeworm, hookworm, and ringworm. These can cause a variety of health problems in humans and animals alike, including fungal infections in the case of ringworm. Pets may also pass on ticks that can cause serious conditions such as Lyme disease. Even more worrying is the range of serious potential zoonoses that the dirty dog paw test threw up. E. coli, the bacteria present in food poisoning, was found on four of five of the fur babies tested. There was even a bug found on Shauna's dog Scotty which can cause pneumonia, urinary tract infections and even meningitis. MRSA, which is resistant to antibiotics and other Staphylococcus bacteria were more possibilities. It's true that a lot of these illnesses can also be contracted through contact with pet saliva. Another avenue is via animal feces, which, of course, is present on most dogs' paws. So bearing all this in mind, how dangerous is spending the night with a four-legged friend? Surely it must be safe enough for a dog owner to allow their pet to share a human bed? If the Leias and Shaunas of the world are careful, then there's thought to be very little harm in sharing a bed with a dog. But that's not to say that animal experts recommend it. However, they do say to those who can't resist the temptation to make sure that paws are clean before Doggo goes anywhere near the duvet. Popular pet pundit veterinarian Dr. Carol Osborne advises dog owners use an even split combination of spray of water and rubbing alcohol to clean their fur baby's feet. In addition, the U.S. government agency the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has some words to the wise. It underlines the importance of canine carers keeping their animals in tip-top condition. It's vital that mutt moms and dads keep their pets up to date with vaccinations and medical checkups. Dogs play an important role in many people's lives as companions, friends, and family. Of course, canines can even act as enabling or therapy animals, so it's only fair that we look after them and, in the process, ourselves. For their part, both Leia and Shauna are adamant that they're still going to sleep in the same bed as their beloved dogs. However, Shauna claims that she's taking steps to reduce the risk of zoonoses. Baby wipes and then wash their feet, maybe, she told Guerrero and the Inside Edition cameras. But yeah, they have to sleep with me. I can't give that up. The doggone woman concluded.